How do I get this thing off? Hey YouTube, this is James with Last Heart Games. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this original Xbox. As you can tell, the fan on this is a little loud. But it does seem to be working. Let's turn this thing off and take a look. As you can see, this console is filthy. With how dirty this thing is on the outside, I'm not expecting it to be much better inside. Let's go ahead and completely disassemble this thing. With everything disassembled, let's go ahead and clean all the plastic parts with that sweet ASMR scrubbing action. You can tell by the color of the water that this thing was nasty. Now we're going to see if we can remove some of the rust from this metal housing with just some household vinegar. I let this set overnight and you can see the rust is just easily scrubbing off. Here's the before picture, and after. Now to give all the electronics just a basic clean.
You can actually see here that our clock capacitor has unfortunately leaked. This is a common problem with the original Xbox and something you need to be aware of. We're going to clean this up real quick and then actually replace this capacitor. This is the culprit. Let's go ahead and find the pads on the other side and get our new capacitor out of the way for now. Using my soldering iron, my desolder pump, and some soldering braid, we're going to go ahead and try to take out this capacitor. One side of this capacitor is just not wanting to let go. Once we finally get it out, we're going to take the time to clean up the holes for our new capacitor. The solder on that same stupid side is just not wanting to clear. Eventually, I just add some fresh solder and I can finally pump it out. With the holes finally clear, we'll add the new capacitor. Using acetone and isopropyl alcohol, I'm going to remove as much of the old thermal compound from the heat sinks and chips as I can. With everything clean, it's time to add some new thermal compound and put our heat sinks back on. Now let's take a look at this noisy fan. The edges of the blades are scraping on the inside wall of the housing. If we look, it's because one of the supports is actually broken. Let's clean it up and then we'll go about fixing. With a little bit of force, we can actually snap it back into place. For a little bit more added security, let's add a couple drops of super glue. And now the blades spin freely. 
And now it's time to put everything back together. I bought this console and a lot of broken Xboxes, and they all had this D on there. Let's go ahead and wipe it off because it's not dead anymore. And now we have a significantly cleaner and quieter Xbox. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more.